Hello beautiful peeps, it's Natasha coming at you with another video. So if you hear something sizzling in the background, it's because of my breakfast. Bur bur breakfast. Um, I decided to try and do, um, I've seen lots of people do the videos what I eat in a day and all that kind of stuff for different dietary needs. A lot gluten free or vegan or that kind of stuff. And uh, I've mentioned in a couple of my Monday must haves and misses that I've been participating in the Whole30 program. Um... So I thought I would do a kind of what I eat in a day on the Whole30 program. Just to kind of show you that it is a lot easier than what you might think. Um, and yeah, so some of this might be voiceover, some of it might be me talking. Just because I am home with my two sick kids today. <clears throat> so there might be a lot of golfing and uh, kids cartoons in the background. So <laughs> I might do some voiceover work after. Um, but yeah, but I thought I'd just share um, what I kind of eat on a day or what I've been eating in a day um, for Whole30. And if you like this video and you think it's helpful or you'd like me to see other ones, um, I'm currently on day 19 of Whole30 um, while I'm filming this. Um, so kind of past the tough part and on the part where you're really feeling the benefits of the program. So um, I will leave all the information for the Whole30 program down below. If you're interested or if you have any questions, please message me. Uh, I've also been um, putting pictures on my Instagram account all about the mummy um, for some of my meals and some of my days. And I've been doing uh, weekly blog posts about how I've been feeling about the whole process and everything um, on the good, the bad, and mummy.com. So I will leave that all down below for you, but let's get to the food. Nom, nom, nom. Alright, so um, for my breakfast today, it varies, so if you want me to do any more of these videos, you can kind of see what I have in different days, days when I work, or any of that kind of stuff, weekends when I'm home and I get to have more time with my hubby's home too, um, let me know and I'll be glad to do more of these videos. So, um, on, on Whole30, just a quick sum, and I'll put all the details down below, Whole30, you can eat um, uh, protein, uh, vegetables, fruits, and some seeds and nuts, uh, tree seeds and nuts. Um, uh, so you uh, eliminate from your diet um, grains, uh, both glutinous and non-glutinous grains, so all grains, like even like quinoa and all that kind of stuff. Uh, legumes, dairy, sugars, um, the bad additives in your food and all that kind of stuff. Um, so for breakfast, um, I started off, when I started with this program, I wasn't eating enough protein, um, so I've increased it. So now when I have eggs for breakfast, I eat three eggs, um, just to hold me through to my lunch. Um, so I have three eggs, and all I did with these is fry them in a little bit of ghee, um, and uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. Um, and then I have uh, some a kiwi, a couple strawberries, and an apple. Um, black coffee because no dairy or sugar on Whole30 and then um, I just have water cold water in here um, with uh, a drop of my grapefruit oil from doTERRA um, this is awesome um, majority of the doTERRA line is uh, food grade so not only can you use them in like a purifier or diffuser or topically, um, but you can also, you, um, they're also edible. And grapefruit oil is amazing for so many different things. It's crazy the health benefits for it. Um, so I got this from my mom. Um, and now I drink it in my water. Um, and it's literally like drinking, a, like you, just, you have a grapefruit in your in your water bottle. It's awesome. So a lot of times I have this in my purse and I drink it while I'm at work. Um, you know, you just get tired of drinking water or whatever. They have so many different ones. They have like citrus blends, they have lime, they have all different types of stuff, all the herbs. So, um, uh, sometimes because I, uh, on Whole30 you can't have gum or mints or anything, so sometimes I'll put my peppermint oil in my water if I'm feeling like my mouth needs a little freshening up. <laughs> um... And I found with Whole30, um, I'm really noticing differences in coffee, drinking it black. So I'm pretty sure this is the Jet Setter Company, and this is the um, Diner Brew, Medium Brew. But anyways, I got that from Farm Boy, and you're in Canada, and it's a really nice coffee brand. Uh, I'll definitely buy any more from them, and it's for my Keurig machine. So that is it. So I'm going to eat this, and uh, yeah. Alright. Peace out, Holmes. Alright, for lunch, I have a can of tuna, and I'm going to mix in... This little single serve pack of holy guacamole. 
Um, you can get these at, um, I get mine at Walmart. Um, I've seen different Holy Guacamole uh, products other places as well, but in Canada you can get them at Walmart. I think Independent carries some of them, and I'm not sure where else to get them. Um, but I love them, and they are Whole30 compliant, and they are so good. So I've been using the guacamole, um, I get the big packs, and I also get the minis for my lunches and stuff. Um, and I've been using these in lieu of, like, mayonnaise and a lot of other sauces. So I'm going to mix this in with my tuna, chop up a little bit of um, a yellow pepper, mix it in there, and then I'm going to use these uh, lettuce leaves as my kind of wrap. Um, so that's what I'm going to put together. And I usually just drink water with lunch, but sometimes after lunch, um, I like to have a tea. And right now my two favorites are... Um, it's this one, which is the uh, coconut mango relong. I don't know if I'm saying that tea. Tea from Stash. And this one, yes, it's a Christmas tea. It's white Christmas white tea. But I like it because it's um, ginger, mint, and white tea. Um, and it's just so refreshing. And sometimes in the afternoon when I'm like feeling like I need a snack or I need something like bunchy wise, I eat drink that and it kind of takes that whole uh, urge or edge away and it's just so refreshing and calming um and mint's really good for your tummy for digestion and that kind of stuff too so love it all right so that is it put together pretty simple um let's put it together however you feel like i mean you don't have to eat the whole can of tuna if you don't want to it's totally up to whatever you feel like you're having if you have a side or something else with it then you don't need as much um um, so this is just kind of what I feel like I eat um, or need to eat for lunch to last me through until dinner. Um, and sometimes I'll have nuts or something as a snack. But So that is lunch. Hello my peeps. So um, this is not my dinner. Um, I didn't end up getting a chance to film my dinner. Um, I am probably to take my little guy into a uh, hospital to get checked out because his fever spiked so high and wasn't going down on its own. Um, I made my dinner with intention to film it, but then uh, I had to kind of throw it in a container and eat it on the go. Um, so I thought I would still share what I made because it was really yummy. So I took a whole butternut squash, I chopped it in half, emptied out the seeds, um, and I uh, put that in the oven for four at 400 for about 40 minutes, um, I'd say. Um, and all I do usually with my squash when I put it in is just rub them down a little bit with the uh, inside part with olive oil um, and then sprinkle it with salt and pepper and then you can season it however you want after. Um, I just find uh, if you try to put any sauces or anything on it while you're cooking it, um, it can tend to burn or any of that stuff. So I just usually put the oil and the salt and pepper and it works out really well. So while that was roasting, um, I pan fried up some... Uh, ground chicken um, and I do find the ground chicken can get quite dry if you don't add anything else to it um, so I did add a little bit of sesame oil um, and uh, once that was cooked I threw in a can of whole water chestnuts and chopped up some broccoli and threw that on top um, and then put the lid on to steam the broccoli with the flavor of the chestnuts and the cooked ground chicken and then once that was all cooked, um, I mixed it all together. I scooped out my squash, put it in the bowl with a little bit of ghee, which is um, uh, basically the fat portion of butter without the whey. So it takes out the whey, which is the lactose portion. Um, and ghee is Whole30 compliant. So I put a little bit of ghee on um, my squash. Um, and then put the ground chicken, the um, water chestnuts, and the broccoli. On top of that, a little bit of Frank's hot sauce. The regular one is Whole30 compliant. And it was really yummy. My husband and I both had that kind of on the run to the hospital. Um, and then later on that night, we were there for quite some time, so I was a little snackish. So I had one of my Lara bars. Um, not all of them are Whole30 compliant because some of them have peanuts or chocolate in them, but this one is the coconut cream, um, and there is quite a few other ones that are Whole30 compliant as well. This is fantastic. There's like four ingredients in it. 
Um, so I had one of these uh, on my way home from the hospital because I was just really hungry. It's an hour drive from my house. Um, and I had a coffee, a black coffee when I was there as well. So that is it. So I know this portion of it wasn't that fantastic, but if you like this type of video where I talk about what I eat in a day um, and show you pictures or video of my meals on Whole30 or after I'm done the Whole30 program and what it looks like to kind of balance out um, Whole30 and you know regular life eating and how I'm going to do that, please let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to do more of these videos. Um, and that is it. Uh, if I have any extra links for Whole30 or anything that I'll leave them down below. Um, I do blog weekly uh, about my whole experience with Whole30 and everything on my blog, the good, the bad, and the mummy .com, um, as well as take pictures on my Instagram account all about the mummy. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye.